What's going on, folks? So today I'm going to be checking out the new album from the band uh, Preterist. Uh, you know, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Is it Preterist or Preterist? I'm going to go with Preterist personally. But the name of this album is Blood Moon Rising. And, uh, you know, a lot of people were talking about this album. I had it on my list of albums to check out, but I, I've been trying to catch up and all that stuff. And then all of a sudden, next thing you know, folks are telling me, oh, man, have you checked out Preterist uh, album and all this stuff? So I did a reaction uh, to one of the songs before I decided to dive into the whole album, but I've had a chance to listen to it now. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to talk about it, but uh, before, you know, before we get into that nitty gritty, let's check out the cover. So, boom, there it is. Take a look at that. I dig it. Oh, I dig it. It just looks really cool. Again, you know, when it has an uh, album cover, has some really nice colors in it. It really draws the eye. It really pulls you in. When it looks kind of blank or, or bland or whatnot, it just doesn't really pop. But this bad boy here, if you're, you're looking through some albums at the, the record shop or whatnot, you see that cover, it'd be like, ooh, ooh, what's this? And you see the name Preterist and, you know, Blood Moon Rising. And it just looks really, really neat. You see this tombstone here. Uh, you know, there's like a meteor coming, crashing down. There's a crow. Uh, and, and this blood red moon sitting up there. And like, like the earth itself almost seems to be you know, erupting or, or, you know, splitting apart or, it just looks awesome. You know, it just looks awesome. And uh, as far as, does it give you a good idea uh, or indication of, of what to expect? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like if you never heard of the band before, and like I said, you're at the record shop, you're looking through, you see this cover. Uh, I, I, I think this cover screams power metal and that's what you're going to get. So yeah, A plus on both fronts for me. I, I love the, the cover aesthetically. It just looks really great. And uh, it, it conveys very well what is contained within the album. So no unexpected surprises. I dig it. Like I said, A plus on both fronts for that. Now, this bad boy has got 12 songs on there. Comes in at just over an hour. And, you know, uh, what you're going to get here is... Uh, a lot of um, just the first thing that you will notice is uh, real Stradivarius vibes ha has a, a real Stradivarius sound to it which is by no means a bad thing because Stradivarius is amazing but yeah I mean it, it's just clear as day as soon as you start this bad boy up uh, heavy influence of, of Stradivarius in there and um, with that being said, you know, everything that you would expect of, from Stradivarius uh, sounding album or whatnot, you kind of you kind of get here. Um, really, really uh, great keyboard work. The keyboard is, is uh, prevalent throughout this whole thing. A lot of really great melodies, um, you know, a lot of great, you know, solo moments. Um, just, again, keyboard is there. I wouldn't say necessarily it's the driving force musically, but it is definitely right there, you know, alongside. I would say the guitar is somewhat the driving force here, but the keyboard really adds that little extra something. Um, so yeah, prevalent keyboards, very bright uh, notes, typically um, light sounding, uh, you know, kind of cheery, uh, not cheery sounding, but just bright you know the, the keyboard sounds very bright it, it's not like anything like some dark you know gloomy kind of sounding keyboard all the notes and whatnot just have a have somewhat of a bright sound and, and a great rhythm and, and melody so uh, yeah and the, the guitar is very similar um, really really um, stellar guitar work on here some really really great solo uh, work and I, I feel like the guitar is, is kind of the the lifeblood uh, musically uh, of the album. It, it's kind of what drives the songs. It, it kind of is what is the center of the songs and everything else is kind of built around that, um, at least in my opinion. Uh, but again, that, that keyboard, it, it's right there. So don't be thinking that, no, you know, the keyboard's here and there. No, the keyboard is ever present, but the guitar is kind of what's driving the songs. And the songs tend to have a very up-tempo uh, kind of pace so the guitar is 
you know, chugging along uh, at a brisk pace, not, not usually too terribly heavy. There are some moments in some songs, um, like in particular, uh, Blood Moon Rising and um, uh, maybe a couple others where it has a heavier tone, but typically it's not too like deep and heavy in your face or anything like that, but, it, but it's moving at a brisk pace, very melodic. Uh, you know, great rhythmic uh, guitar work here, and also uh, just really great solo work. There's a lot of really great uh, intricate solo work, um, intricate just guitar work. Same thing goes with the keyboard, and some songs are uh, some songs are a little more concise, and other songs are left with some room to breathe, and that's really really when the guitar and the keyboard especially get a chance to shine because there's stretches of moments where you know you kind of have the the rhythmic music going in the background keeping the, the 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 foundation of the song moving but then the keyboard and and or the guitar are kind of doing little technical intricate melodies throughout or you know solos and it, it just gives the songs time to breathe and and you're kind of just feeling it, you know, it's kind of just taking you along, so I really enjoyed those moments a lot, and uh, just the musicianship in general was really, really solid. The the drums, I also noticed the drum work is very, very good. It, it you know, it, it really, like I said, a lot of the music is very up-tempo. A lot of the songs tend to be uh, briskly paced, not, not speedy, but they're moving, you know, they're, they're energetic songs, you know, you have some songs, they're a little more anthemic, but for the most part, you have a lot of energy behind the music, um, and it, it, a bright energy, again, the Stradivarius tends to have that energy, where you kind of feel like you're moving up, like you're, you're being lifted up, you know, everything's moving in an upward, you know, brighter direction, oftentimes throughout the songs, and, and that's what you get here, you, you feel like the, the music is kind of pulling you up, you know, to a, a brighter place or, you know, a, a lighter place and not like beating you down or anything like that. So the drums play a really good part in, you know, keeping that momentum, keeping that energy, that pulse. So yeah, musicianship all around. That's really what you're kind of going to get. And vocals, I got to say, the vocals are spectacular spectacular. He, even the vocals, he, he kind of sounds like Timo Codipelto uh, in a way. And boy, has he got a range. There's a great fullness to his voice, great delivery, great emotion. There's a lot of emotion and, and passion in his voice, and you can hear it. He keeps up with the momentum of the songs or in the more anthemic moments. You know, his voice really shines. He, really sweeping vocals at, at moments, you know, just really singing to the stars, it feels like just really grand uh, vocal, um, you know, moments where, again, just soaring, so that's the best way I can say, soaring vocals, absolutely uh, fantastic vocals here, I'm not kidding folks, I was really, really blown away by that. So, yeah, in a sense that's what you're going to get, the, the music, the, the songs tend to be very melodic in nature. Uh, it's not really progressive metal or anything here. Again, some melodic power metal. Uh, yeah, you know, essentially that, that's what you're going to get. Um, now, we'll get to, you know, I'll, I'll talk about maybe a few of the songs to give you a little bit of an idea. And I'll give you my personal um, opinion, you know, of the song in general. You know, how I really felt about it now that I've kind of given you an idea of, of what you can expect. It starts out with this intro song to the Holy Mountain, uh, you know, and it's, you know, what you'd expect from kind of an intro, it's a little over a minute long. Then it moves into track two, They Are Already Here, which, <laughs> it's the best song on the album. I, I'm going to just be right out front and say it. That's the best song on the album. It's the song that was suggested to me to, to check out for a reaction. So, you know, the, the album kind of peaks right in the beginning. With that being said, there's all, there's still some really great stuff on here, though, uh, which I'll get to, but they are already here. Absolutely brilliant song. I can't get enough of it. It's in a playlist. 
and uh, I love it. Uh, yeah, that's really the, the peak of the album. So it's kind of unfortunate that the, the very first like official track, you know, aside from the intro song, is uh, the best the album's got to offer. But uh, that by no means am I saying stop there because, uh, again, there's also some uh, great stuff uh, that follows. But uh, track three, Higher, it, it really kind of keeps up the, the pace. It's a really, really great, I really like this song as well. It's a good follow-up to They're Already Here. And this is one of those songs that I said it kind of gives room to breathe. Uh, some great instrumental moments and it, it really kind of builds towards the end. Really solid song. Really, really great song. I, I like it a lot. Um, but then I would say like that beginning with those two songs and then the middle of the album are its best. Um, I, I wasn't too keen on, to be honest, track four, Blood Moon Rising, and track five, This Body of Death. It, it's a, a slower, kind of ballad, anthemic uh, kind of deal. You know, it, not too bad. Uh, a bit more, uh, I felt a little more standard. Uh, but then once you hit uh, track six through eight, um, and even track nine, um, you get some really great stuff again. Free Peoples of the World is a very melodic track. Uh, track seven, Power of My Mind, is probably my second favorite track on the whole album. Just great. Um, uh, great, I mean, all the songs have a lot of great energy. Uh, but this one, I just really like the, the, the feeling. It, it kind of packs a punch. It, it just has this great mood, this great... Um, feeling about it, and uh, again, very melodic, and uh, just a really solid song. Um, no More Rebellion, track 8, another very melodic, really great song, and um, track 9, Fire, uh, is another good one. Once you hit track 10, Anomaly, it's just kind of like a 48 second little synthesizer instrumental deal, and that moves into the last two songs, which, you know, I feel like it... it loses focus a little bit um, the album so that's really my 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 full walkthrough and ultimately my opinion of this great album great album uh, I enjoyed it a lot I enjoy it a lot um, especially for just coming out of nowhere you know this this band this album just really came out of nowhere and the quality of it the production um, is really really great I think I failed to mention that the production the mixing all of that stuff stellar sound stellar sound so it's just like wow you know this this quality of a, of a power metal album just literally out of nowhere truly remarkable and commendable um, definitely some room for growth um, some some a little bit of refinement in there you know I, and my biggest thing is I feel like there are moments where it, it, the album itself just loses focus a little bit. Um, you know, it, it gets a little distracted within itself. And I think that's part of my issue with a couple of the songs like Blood Moon Rising um, and then uh, even Dying Star and more than this. It, it just, it, it feels like it just loses a little bit of the focus, you know, of, of the rest of the album. It just doesn't feel as cohesive. So the album as a whole doesn't have that cohesive feeling, you know, that oftentimes you look for. Just because, again, like I said, there's a couple, there's a few moments where I just feel like it loses a little bit of focus. Uh, but with that being said, there's a lot of great stuff here. Uh, it's a really, really... Uh, great album uh, you know i don't know how else to say that it's a very very uh, enjoyable album any power metal fan should definitely listen to it um but it, it's just those are just little 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 critiques there um but again it's a really great album just could use a little bit of refinement i think and in, in the arrangement um, perhaps of the album as a whole and a few of the songs just to to keep that focus to, to keep that energy um because it, it just it drops out in a few spots, in, in, in my humble opinion, but still, a stellar, stellar album. And uh, it, it's definitely one that I'll continue to listen to because uh, really great sound and uh, some really uh, stellar songs and, yeah, truly commendable stuff here. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, if I were to tell you one song uh, to check out to decide whether you want to listen to the whole thing or not, you're like, yeah, uh, 
what's one song I, I should listen to to decide if I want to hear the whole album? I would say I, I definitely recommend They Are Already Here to everybody, um, regardless of if you're going to listen to the album or not, which I, I, I do highly recommend you, you all check out the album because uh, it is super solid. But uh, don't miss They Are Already Here. But aside from They Are Already Here, I would say go with Power of My Mind. Uh, just because I think that represents the album as a whole um, really well. Because they're already here, like I said, it's the peak. It's not a, I wouldn't recommend starting at the peak, but I mean, this is the beginning of the album anyway. But yeah, so check out They're Already Here or Power of My Mind. And uh, if you like that sound, which I know you will, check out the album. It's a lot to like. Uh, you'll enjoy it. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you've listened to this bad boy already. What are your thoughts on it? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, yeah. So thank you all for tuning in. Let's talk about this thing in the comments down below. And uh, I'll catch you all next time. Ranger, out.